I'm Jacob. I'm Yuri. And we're going for a drive. with the FD700 supercharger package. Without launch control. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! What was that? I think that was the diff hitting the bed. <laughs> Torque. 700 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque from a supercharged 5-liter V8, and that supercharger has a displacement of 3 liters. So this is not like a factory car, but it's a Ford Performance dealer accessory car. Yes, exactly. So you can put it on many different configurations of F-150s, but you can't have the 8-foot bed, you can't have Pro Power Assist, and you must have the 5-liter V8. Yeah. Let's that, take it through Cliche Corner right now. It understeers like crazy, plows out, but that supercharger just pulls you right through. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's an interesting experience. Yes, but it, man, does this ever understeer? Is this, I think this car is meant for just like straight line going fast. Like this? But like not stopping, because <laughs> it does not want to stop. And you can also get this on a 4x4. We have a 2x2 two two in the back, or 4x2 in the back. Yeah, uh, yeah. So this is purely rear wheel drive. We can't change any other modes. You can't lock the diff unless you're below a certain speed. And then that's when you can do your big, fat, nasty burnouts. And the most impressive part, three year, 36,000 mile warranty. On the package. On the package. Yes, which is the supercharger. So if, if it wrecks your diff and if it wrecks your transmission or if it twists your frame, uh, if you have, you know, that's maybe why they don't have the eight foot bed. Yeah. Is that covered or is that covered under your normal warranty? I believe that is covered under your normal warranty from Ford. And you may have noticed that this is not the newest 2024 F-150. Yeah, I want to put it on the 24. Let's go. Uh, I don't think you can, at least not yet. But I assume the same Whipple supercharger kit for 9,500 US dollars supercharger alone will probably fit the 24 with the 5 liter V8. Yeah, this but is only for 21 to 23. Exactly, because this is an FP700 package, which is not just the supercharger, and the cost of that is $12,350 ordered through your dealer. US. Yes, and, and that and even also, if you're in Canada. Yeah, that's just a direct conversion to Canadian, so it's actually a lot more. Plus the install, plus the shipping. Yes, and the install is estimated at 15 hours. Yes, yeah, so whatever your Ford's uh, labor rate is or your uh, independent mechanic, as long as they're ASC certified to get the warranty, that's what you need to add to the cost of that as well. But let's get into what this whole FP700 package gets you, because again, it's not just that supercharger. What does FP stand for? Ford Performance. Nice. What does 700 stand <laughs> for? <laughs> this. <laughs> they should have added brakes to this package but also like then you probably would have screwed up on turns because like it's it's a little sketchy but like yeah you know you don't have enough brakes pretty early on okay so we have the bronze package you can also get it in a black package so we have these 22 inch wheels on this one and then what would be the continental recommended tire for an fp 700 if you want to do a lot of burnouts probably the cross contact lx 25 yeah and if you're driving in winter viking contact 7 because you know what People drove rear wheel drive trucks in the winter for a long time and they still do. My Raptor is primarily rear wheel drive and I drive that in the winter I mean, all the I time. I mean forced rear wheel drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then you cannot buy this already installed. It has to be installed after purchase of the F-150 for emissions reasons and it is emissions legal in all 50 states. Yes, that's right, it's carb legal. So what else you get? Uh, this truck's actually lowered. Now with the kit, you get rear lowering, but we have another additional package for 600 US dollars plus installation to lower the entire truck. Yeah, I, I think we're hitting the bump stops. I think that's the, the, the bump noise? stops or the diff smashing that's, into that's the- That's not the diff, there's enough room, but I like- I hope so. Oh! What was that? <laughs> Because when, when you rip it, it like it looks like it twists down to the bottom right, and it looks like only the the right bump stop yeah has marks. On it. <laughs> it feels like all the power is on that back right wheel. And also part of the package are the.
bedside graphics, which actually look kind of cool, the tailgate graphic, which is in bronze, and the fender vents as well, which say Ford Performance, which actually look really cool. Okay, so they, they send this car to the dealership without the supercharger with all that stuff on it. So in my head, okay, you buy it, what if you just don't install the supercharger? Can you hold on to the car for three years? Say you're going to Europe uh, for, for work or something, and when you come back in three years, you're gonna install it then and do your three-year warranty from there. Is that possible? Can you install this kit on a 21 F-150 that has like 600,000 miles on it. I don't know, I'm so confused. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the limitations of all that kind of things are, but yeah. Anyways, we have this one with 8,000 miles on it, and I believe this is a 22 or a 23. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's, no, it it's, doesn't. It's applicable, and this is friggin' awesome. And you know what, with all this power, I got a spicy take on this car, okay? Hear me out. Okay, okay. I don't think anyone's ever said this before. I think this is like the actual new Ford Lightning. Oh my God. I Blew know. my mind. It's gonna cause it's a just lot like of, your T-shirt. A lot, a lot of drama on the internet. Yes, I have a lightning shirt. Except that one wasn't supercharged. It's like the revamp of the uh, the the one in Fast and Furious that Paul Walker drove. Okay, so driving it, uh, do you like shifting your own gears, or do you just keep it in automatic? I wouldn't dare shift my own gears in this thing. There is an M for manual mode, and then a plus minus on a column shifter, which is pretty cool. This 10-speed auto, we have had some issues with 10-speed autos in the past in other F-150s and stuff. This one does not know what it's doing. This is, it is overwhelmed by this much power. Sometimes when I floor it, it just hangs gears and it's like holding RPM. Yeah, and then like full power into a random gear, like. Into a into a bump stop, like clunk, like I don't know what's going I, on here. I'm, I'm gonna floor it, just, ready? And it wanted to like yeah. twist right there, but yeah, it went down like, I don't know, six gears there. Like After hearing that clunk a couple times, I'm just like mechanical sympathy mode with it. Like I'm not <laughs> matting it, I'm easing in and I still feel like nervous. And I have no sympathy, so. Uh... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have a little bit of sympathy now. <laughs> that's gotta be the bump stop. Like Ford, but this I, is crazy. I, I don't know if the, I, that's, that sounds too crunchy. Anyways, uh, good thing we have that warranty on this because I don't think uh, we're really abusing this truck or anything. I feel like I'm you're using just exactly flooring. how you should. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like. Uh, I have one traction off. I don't have full traction off. So if I had full traction off, every time that I floored it would have just been burnouts. Yeah. Uh, so it does get a little squirrely just with one traction off. But um, yeah, handling, not the best. Doesn't need to be straight line speed. The, the suspension with the lowering is actually like not bad, but it is noticeable. It's like, okay, it's not as comfy as like a regular F-150. It is like a little shaky on the highway here and there. Maybe it's whatever's going on out back because I believe this truck has been slightly abused by other journalists in the States before the, uh, we got this. And I begged Ford for this truck as soon as it came out. Yeah, we're, we're doing our best to get these trucks to Canada. We got it, so shout out. Yeah, big thank you to Ford for actually bringing this truck up for us from the States. It is in Freedom Units, and we have uh, American plates on the back. But I think that's it for me as, as, as much as I want to keep uh, flooring this. I, I'm going to I'm gonna take it easy. I'm, okay, I'm okay, nervous. you have some fun. I'm going to have... Just stress. <laughs> just, yeah. I'm going to have gray hairs. Yeah, I'm just going to ease into it because I'm, I'm nervous. I just want to hear the supercharger whine. Uh, a little weird vibration. And like, <laughs> yeah, the braking, you get on it and it's yeah. like, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. But we should probably listen to it from the outside. It sounds pretty good. We have the Borla Ford Performance exhaust on this. Yes, which I don't think is part of the FB700 package, but it's a, another dealer optional I package. believe, yeah. Do you think the first mod to this should be more supercharger sound? Yes, uh, it is lacking supercharger sound. I expect it a lot from a three liter Whipple. Waiting for the, I guess we have a T-Rex of like Ram truck, but like, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, what we need is a, a T-Rex street truck. Yeah. <laughs> to compete with this. Yeah. Dodge, even though you stopped making the TRX, uh, just, just make that happen. Oh, they'll bring it back like <laughs> always with 17 special editions yeah, and markup. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and we just found out that there actually is no limitation on mileage when ordering or installing it for your F-150. Should I buy the highest mileage F-150 yes. in the world and, install and supercharge it, on it with yeah, a warranty? Yeah. <laughs> and just have it explode day one. Yeah, let us let us know if it, I should do that. They're going to be like, well, does the supercharger still supercharge? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, all right. Does the frame still frame? <laughs> Who knows? And if you did want to buy one of these, just like I want to buy one right now, go to tsp.truecard.com, discounted price offers. Get yourself a base model XL with this package. I wonder if they're selling them with the package already like bundled up on TrueCar. Yeah, maybe. 
Should, should I floor it or ease into it? Dude, do whatever you want. We're under warranty. <laughs> oh, I love this thing so much. It is terrifying. This is so scary. This, this is, is so scary. I love this thing so much. I can't believe more people are doing stuff like this, but I also wow. can believe that more people are doing this. So, yeah. is this... This is probably more exciting and like more scary than like a raptor are, right? Yeah, oh, they're definitely more terrifying. Yeah. Like, I feel like the trans tuning isn't there and the fact that it's, you know, purely rear wheel drive and we don't have like massive 37 inch tires to slow us down or anything like that. Like, this Yo, is scary. Imagine this with a ZF six speed. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the 10 speed is just, it does not suit this truck. All right, through cliche core. Yeah, it's. Yeah, that. Oh, that, that, that. Whatever that did, it was just revving and the transmission didn't engage. I'm like, I'm letting off. I don't need it to yeah. tow a Widowmaker me 911 turbo into a ditch. Yeah, exactly. And I, uh, I've left your fuel economy gauge on there, and we are currently getting 9.1 miles per gallon. My goal is to get into the single digits, and I did that within like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, other cool stuff the three row seat. Yeah, the bench. That's pretty That's pretty nice. Uh, it'll fit uh, cups just fine, right? Yes, it will. I've got my small cup right here. I have seen some specs on the internet where they add like the rubber floors, but then you still get these Ford Performance floor mats. But what you should really get... A set of Tuxmat. Go to Tuxmat.com slash the straight pipes because you're going to want to protect your carpets from possible puke from your passengers. Yeah, <laughs> and pooping your pants. Yeah, probably uh, just... I'm scared, scared. <laughs> just like that person that ran through the airplane yeah, with yeah. poop down their leg, it's just going to run down your leg here. <laughs> And then looks wise, I love it in the single cab configuration. Like this is the look. I would not want four door, even though, you know, probably makes more sense for practicality. Of course. Uh, so you can get it like that, but I totally agree. Like it just makes it so funny in this configuration. It looks Photoshopped without being Photoshopped. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, but like I would get it in red or something cool or white. Yeah, this this blue does have some like flake in it, but still I totally agree. I love the halogens. Yeah, the halogen headlights. It, it makes it look kind of like work truck spec. Yeah, and then we do have uh, a bed back there because yeah, you can actually throw stuff. This is still a truck. And it's got like a folding over tonneau cover, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, nothing fancy in the tailgate, which is also cool. Yeah, the tailgate just drops. There's, there's no uh, uh, dampers or anything like that. Overall, I think they totally nailed it with the looks uh, and I do like the wheels on the black edition more yeah surprisingly like we don't love black wheels but they kind of work a little bit better but, but I saw on the internet these guys from a dealership they have their own that's like a, they call it the sleeper edition and yeah. it's uh, a Roush supercharger instead of this so uh, okay. less expensive and then they got it like for a full work spec with steel wheels that to me is a better look yeah. But I understand that that won't sell like this will. And then you still get the Ford warranty with this one. I think that probably has like a That's got a Roush warranty. Or maybe from the dealership. That yeah. specific dealership, that specific thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's test the visors. <laughs> oh, for sure they're going to pass. Yeah. Three, two, one. Hell yeah. I love this truck so much. And we got Apple CarPlay and all that stuff. We got a backup camera. Okay, in the Toyota that we recently drove, the Grand Highlander, I got confused by all of the safety settings. This has a lot of safety settings. It even has lane keep assist on the highway and it actually works really well. No Blue Cruise. No, Blue, but lane centric. I know, but Blue Cruise still has never worked for us for the record. Yes. And in the settings here, when you go to your safety stuff, it'll read out every single thing, full words, and then you can click I to see what it is with a nice video. That is how you do safety settings. And then to end off the interior, I love these cloth seats. Just nice and comfy, yeah. normal stuff. No, not much room for stuff like in the door pockets, a bit, a little bit behind the seats. Well, we have storage here, and then we can move this up, and then we have storage down here as well. Lots of storage down there. Yeah, so it's pretty decent overall. All right, let's put this back down, rest my arm, and we should probably get to the price. And we got a 360 camera. Hit me with the price. The lowest price that you can get the FP700 package on an XL trim with the 5 liter V8 is $48,745. American. Now, if you only wanted the supercharger, you can get it as low as $45,895. So under 50 grand, you got 700 horsepower. So, so realistically, the price is 16,000 US on top of whatever 21 to 23 F-150 you have. With the installation, yeah, yeah roughly. Fact factored in. Yes. Hey, I, <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, pretty damn cool, Ford. Uh, great job. I really want one of these as soon as you fix whatever's going on yeah. in the rear end. Yeah, maybe for the dip. 24s, they'll they'll do that. This would be so much better with 
not the 10 speed and with paddles or with the 10 speed with paddles yeah yeah like this truck does need it, it needs the raptor paddles and the yeah. raptor transmission tuning it, but you're not going to get that with the price it's just i don't i just feel so uncomfortable with like flooring it just hearing the motor rev up and the transmission not engaged i'm like this is just going to shatter in my head yeah that's but what it feels like maybe it's purely from all the previous journalist abuse we yeah. don't know but I mean, if you own this, you would abuse it even harder than all those other journalists did. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Love this truck. Great job, Ford Performance. We love you. Let, bring us out to your to proving grounds. Yes. We want to drive all your fun stuff. Absolutely. Please. Love this truck. Thank Please invite us out. It.